all my CK warriors out there, uh, please vote for me. I want to keep country music alive on The Voice. Uh, and you have been watching Hop Stop TV. Hey guys, I'm Shishi here backstage at The Voice with Corey. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? You should be doing all right. Fantastic performance tonight. Thank you so Now, much. I was doing a little research about you. Mm -hmm. Music has always been in your blood. You actually went on your first tour when you were 11. That is true. That is true. Uh, I got to, I was, I was in a Western swing group and we got the opportunity to go out with some, uh, some classic country acts, you know, like the Oak Ridge Boys and Roy Clark and got a, got a little taste of what the entertainment world was like and uh, I was hooked. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I hope those boys were not too bad of an influence no, there. <laughs> no, they're great guys, great guys, yeah. How much has the show changed your life so far? You know, I don't think it's really quite set in yet. Uh, we've been out here in competition mode this whole time and, and we don't really have the opportunity to go back home, but my family assures me that it is not going to be the same when I go back to Bixby, America. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's not it's not the biggest place in the world. It's not the tiniest place in the world. But she said it's gonna be different. So really, yeah. oh my gosh! Listen, if I were on national television like you, my family would be using me to get all yeah. kinds of advantages. Have your family jumped on board yet? I'm I'm the same person that I've always been to my family, and that's what okay. I love about them. You know, it's it's. Uh, I'm just I'm just Corey when I'm with my family. That's sweet. Yeah. You've been receiving so much love on social media. What are some of the sweetest, craziest tweets you've been getting from fans? Oh man, the funniest ones are always uh, the marriage proposals. You know, those oh are those are great. The traditional ones. Yeah. Well, they're not necessarily traditional. It's more like some of them are like "Marry me, you can't say no," or uh, "When's our wedding?" You know, they're not necessarily. <laughs> Proposals, I guess. Uh, I don't really have a choice in some of them, I guess. Okay, okay, but so what do you say? I, I haven't really responded to any proposals directly. I got, listen, I've got the blinders on. I'm trying to win a competition here. So until the competition's over, it's it's all the voice, and then after that, you know what, uh, we can we can open things up for uh, okay. looking for a girl. Okay, okay. Now, you know exactly where we're headed. We asked a lot of fans to send us some questions, right? And the ladies want to know what you look for in a bay. Oh, Hashtag B-A-E. Let me tell you, the first and most attractive thing is confidence. That is a big deal. And uh, you see a lot of girls today that, that don't have that. Um, so I would say be confident in yourself. Uh, another thing for me personally, you gotta love Jesus. Um, that is a big deal for me, and I think that a lot of the the other things that I look for fall under that. You know, it's uh, if you got that part in your life, then a lot of other things are gonna follow suit. Man. But confidence, you gotta be funny. I love to laugh. Um, yeah, just a well-rounded. Listen, as soon as this interview airs, all the girls are gonna be hitting up your Twitter with some Bible verses. I kid you uh. not. <laughs> Well, that's never a bad thing. I think the, the world could use a few more Bible verses out there. So. That's true, especially on Twitter. Yes, yes. <laughs>